this gooseneck was kind of short for the bed and everything is not right in the bed yet but it's good enough and it gives someone something else to play with anyone else can go and uh, fix it how they want to It took forever to try to fix the sliding because it was a slide. You used to be driving along and all of a sudden just slide. It was really uh, messed up. All right, we have that. Let's go ahead and just uh, off do that. Let's let's pull this truck. Uh, hold on. Let, before we do that, let's pull this uh, grain of or trailer of potatoes or something. Whatever it is, let's pull it. And that's what it looks like on there. So let's uh, pull it. It pulls pretty well. better than nothing. Uh, the camera might have to be moved up a little bit. I'm not going to do that. I'm not a Chevy guy. It was killing me putting this together because uh, <laughs> actually I have something else I want to I want to work on but no one was resizing this thing or trying to do anything or that I know of or if they did it, it just was using old parts. Uh, so I tried. If you notice on these fenders, like right there, there's like a little mess up. I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not really good with Blender yet. But that's what I, that's what came out of it. The trucks do get dirty. It just takes a long time now or a little longer. The windows don't get dirty. I didn't have the windows get dirty. The front end ain't right. It just has like a one ton setup, like an old day, you know, back in the day. But that doesn't mean something in the future, or future can be uh, worked out. Well, I about had a collision there. Alright, still pushes a little bit, but I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. Alright, let's go ahead and just pull this big load. Let's get out. Let's start this truck up. I redid the sounds on this a little bit. Alright. Let's go out of here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm not talking real loud, but... Let's go ahead and pull this. I haven't really done much. I haven't been on YouTube or Facebook or nothing like that. I've been working on this truck. It's a pretty heavy load. See, it still shoves you, but it's not like it was. At least it actually has the power to catch up. I don't know what's going on here, though. But, uh, <laughs> I think there's something wrong with that trailer. I have to fix that trailer. Let's pull a normal size. Alright, I have the, all of the regular load. Let's go ahead and just, uh, cave the bed in here. It pulls pretty good, normal loads. Uh, I didn't raise the hitch in here. Someone else can do that if they wanna. Like I said, I I really don't like Chevy, but that's just my opinion. I do like the body style on some trucks. I, if they're lifted, they look pretty cool. See if it pulls it up this hill. Pretty good size load. Pulls it pretty well. All 
All right, let's see about the brakes. Let's uh, let's just hit the brakes. All right, that's the brakes. All right, so that's the truck. Uh, like I said, there's one error in it. I can't get it out. I'm not good with errors. Uh, just recently, I just started on the Fords. That's the only time I've really dealt with errors. Because, like I said, they never bother me, so. And those are makeshift fenders. I mean, they. I, all I did was copy off a picture, and I looked at the picture. And actually, when I was doing it, it was backwards, so. The fender was like this. And I was actually looking at a picture that had this side, this side of the truck. So. And then when I flipped the everything, because I, I wasn't about to make two of them, I got these little uh, dot things, whatever you want to call them. Edges, faces, I don't know what they're called. I, I'm not good with that. Anyway, this is Ramble 145. Uh, I will put the link in the description when it's up. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Bye.